CBS News has learned about heightened threats of possible terror attack on the U.S. and New York State is a focus. CBS's Catherine Harris joins us now with more on these concerning details. Catherine, thank you. Either we go in a one exit or either in the go upstairs. What if security is tight? It won't. We will attack swiftly. Do we have the knife for the ransom? 48 hours. Enough to create panic and pressure. What if the authorities catch you in? Silence anyone who poses a threat. Our priority is securing the hostages. This is our moment. Execute the position, and they will pay off for the daughter's life. Good evening, I'm Will Helm reporting live from Serenity Digital Institute. In a shocking turn of event, we have learned that the daughters of a prominent millionaire have been beaten by individuals with malicious intent. Law enforcement are actively involved in the investigation as of now, and we will be updating you on any development. Our thoughts go out to the family of the hostages during this difficult time. Back to you in the studio. We've got hostages in a heavily guarded compound. Our mission is to have a quiet and successful extraction. Any ideas? Satellite imagery shows weakness on the west perimeter. We could breach them there without alerting them. Good. What about diversions? We could use a drone or even shut off the power system to simulate an attack on the east side. It'll draw their attention away from our entry point. Agreed. We'll need a destruction inside too. Lieutenant, what's our play? I suggest hacking their communication system. Create false chatter about their, an impeding attack on another facility. Keep them occupied. Solid plan. Any concerns? What if the hostages move during our, our diversion? Hmm. Okay. That's where our intel comes in. We have eyes on the compound 24-7. We update in real time and adjust our strategy accordingly. Once inside, maintain radio silence. Silence is our ally. Right, let's execute this plan flawlessly. 